Hi everybody, this is Jerry the Snake Man, and we welcome you to episode 8 of Snake Clips. Today we're going to be talking about boa constrictors. Today we're doing boa constrictors. This is a Colombian red tail boa constrictor who's not very happy right now, as you can see by the agate mouth and the hissing that's going on. A boa constrictor is a species of large, heavy-bodied snakes and is found in Central and South America. Though all the boys are constrictors, only this species is properly referred to as a boa constrictor. It's a rare instance when its common name and its scientific name are both the same. It's called constrictor constrictor. The boa constrictor is a large snake, although it's only a modest in size compared to the other large snakes, such as the reticulated python, the rock python, and the Burmese python. Um, these snakes can reach anywhere up to 13 feet, depending on the locality and the availability of suitable prey. There is a clear sexual um, dimorphism seen in these species, with the female generally being much larger in both length and girth. A female snake will get up to 7 to 10 feet, while its male counterpart will only get 6 to 8 feet. It is common for the female individuals to exceed 10 feet, particularly in captive bred species, with lengths ex exceeding up to 12 feet in size. The boa constrictor is the heavy-bodied snake, and a large specimen can weigh up to 60 pounds. Females, the larger sex, more commonly weigh 22 to 33 pounds, but there have been seen incidents where they have weighed over 100 pounds. The color and pattern of these snakes is so that they blend into their environment. Generally, they're terrestrial snakes, which means they stay mostly on the ground, but boa constrictors will climb up into the trees. Um, they'll hang over the river beds. Um, they love to be in a moist, humid environment. Um, typically, they prefer to be in a rainforest due to the humidity and the temperatures. Um, their natural cover, um, because of their patterns and colors, will hide them from predators. Um, normally, again, they're found along riverbeds and streams. Um, they're very capable swimmers, like their cousins, the uh, anacondas. Boa constrictors will also occupy the burrows of medium-sized mammals where they can hide from potential predators. They will generally live on their own, and they're not um, basically interactive with other snakes unless they want to mate. They're primarily nocturnal. However, during the day, they may bask in the sun w when the temperatures um, are a little too low. Again, they're semi-arboreal, which means some animals will climb into the trees and the shrubs to forage for food. However, they become mostly terrestrial as they become older and heavier. Boa constrictors will strike when they perceive there is a threat. Their bite can be painful, especially from the large snakes, but it's rarely dangerous to humans. Specimens from Central America are more um, loud and hissy, and they will strike repeatedly when they're disturbed. They'll eat almost anything that they can catch. Boas are different from pythons because boas give live birth. As you can see here, we're going to show you that this boa, as you see, that was a nice strike. This boa here is very defensive. Hopefully you can hear him, although he is not a Central American boa, he is a Colombian boa. He does take very well to defending himself very quickly. They got the very loud hiss. He will strike repeatedly trying to get me to leave him alone. Um, again, at this size they're really not much of a harm, um, but once they get larger, their bite could be pretty painful from a large male or a large female. Notice he's got the front part of his body assed up. That's a pre-strike position. He's holding his ground. He doesn't want me to get anywhere near him. So he's defending his territory right here. He's doing the best he can. And this is what we call an intimidation. He's trying to hiss. He's puffing up with air, appearing to be a lot larger than he actually is. He's biting, but most of his strikes actually are falling short of hitting me. Um, he simply wants me to leave him alone.
This is Chris, and he's a New York State DEC licensed snake handler. He's here today with Medusa, his female Colombian red tail boa. She's 9 feet 2 inches long, and she weighs 55 pounds.